Hey friends, welcome back to the channel Creatively Sandra. If you're new here, I'm Sandra and on here we do all things Disney. I had promised some of you that I would record my process for the pin trading event that I'm going to. I'm gonna be gathering and organizing my pins for the event today and I'm gonna walk you through that a little bit. And then we'll vlog the event a little bit as well. Bear with me, never done a vlog, vlog before, but you've seen some of my crafting videos that get pieced together, so we should be fine, right? Um, let's give it a try. I'm gonna turn the camera around, show you what I'm starting with, and we'll go from there. Okay, so let's try and focus on what we've got here, and I'll walk you through a bit. Um, lots of supplies that I'm going to try to organize in pin books. I've got some bags and boxes of traders that I need to go through. Maybe we'll pull out some more or some of those things I may decide I'm keeping. I have my pin book that I've been taking to trading events. That's this one here and I'm hoping to add some pages. This is a, um, a two ring binder. It is a case it binder. Let me show you. Um, the company is called case it and it is a dual Case it dual has two bi two binding rings, and that's great for holding a lot of pins. I do have one of the Crack and Trade um, pin books. They're going to be at the event this weekend, and I'm hoping they bring some of the books to purchase because I've not been able to get replacements pages, not been able to get more pages. I've not been able to purchase another book because on their site they're out of stock most of the time but these have a couple different types of inserts you can get so this is the foam inserts I have both loose pins on there some pins on backer cards I can still add to that they have dividers so that you're not um, so that you can use both sides and you're not banging pins on pins and so there's that um, just a couple pages of these in this book and so I'm hoping to add to this maybe some of the loose pins, maybe some of the um, pins that don't have, that have a backer card, but don't necessarily have a, um, a cover, a protective plastic cover. But I can do those in there too. We'll just see how it goes. Um, this one is a personal pin book that I have some of the collections while I am collecting them. So while I was trying to complete a set, I was putting them in here. There's a lot of completed sets in here. I need a Pocahontas of the Chibi, you guys. Um, that's my note here. I think that's the last one I need of the ones on these pages. Um, I might need a couple of these. But anyway, I think I'm going to empty this and use this for loose pins, potentially. Um, put these on a temporary board so that I can utilize this book at the show. I do have a table at the show. Um... I don't think I am a big enough trader to warrant a table, but I did it anyway. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Um, at least if nothing else, I'll be able to set out things like pin sets that won't go in books. So I have some stuff like this. I have some like this that's on a um, kind of a booster pack set and things like fig pins that'll go in there and um, can just sit out on the table and not be in a book. So lots of stuff in these bags and boxes to sort through today. And um, this is, I usually take a little bag. <laughs> the pin event I normally go to is much smaller, so a little bag is fine to put my trades in. So the ones that I actually get that I wanna keep go in here so that I don't put them back in the rotation. Um, this came with the case at binder and it holds some of my uh, pin backs right now. So if somebody's trading and they're not putting it right back in a book, I might um, need to give them a pin back. So I keep some of the Mickey back ones. I also keep some of the lounge fly ones in there usually. And um, I'll also use them to back a trade that I get from somebody that I'm going to put in my little bag to keep. The other thing I got for trying to organize is from Pinfolio, because I couldn't get the crack and trade stuff, I went ahead and bought these foam boards. 
Um, you'll see them. I'm not going to pull it out right now, but I'll record a little bit of my process here. And so these are, there's two boards in here and another foam board that I can just put pins on, but this one doesn't go in a binder. So you'll see there's, there's no holes in that, that one. Um, this is another divider page. This, I'll pull these out in a bit as well. These are bags that fit, um, these pin boards in. So once you have your pins on here, you can put them in a protective bag and it has a zipper at the top. Not sure you can see that, um, but I'll show you after I get things together. And then lastly, I ordered some of these, not sure they're going to work out for the smaller pins. So, um, these are like baseball card sleeves. This is kind of a higher end one. Not that any of them are really high end, but it's one that, that should hold up well in a notebook, um, a binder with the three rings and do okay. So I'm hoping I can utilize some of those. I may, depending how things go, go and get another binder. I know because of back to school, Walmart has these right now, these dual ones. They didn't have a lot of selection last time I was in there, but do I need a lot of selection? Doesn't matter, I may just get a binder. And remember, I have another pin event I'm going to in Disney, the Magic Hat Pins event in August. So I'm gearing up for that as well to figure out how I'm gonna bring everything there um, additionally. So also, one last thing, the host of this, my friend Lonnie, who hosts the Maryland, Virginia, Disney pin traders, Maryland, Virginia, DC on Facebook. Um, she's organizing the event. So for people who bought tables, she did ask that we have a donation. So I'm giving away a couple of little Mickey figures and I have some pins in here that will be part of the package. So I need to make up a little gift bag with those items in it. And I have a little poly bag here that I'm gonna try to do something fun with to display those. So that's it guys. I'm going to go ahead and um, turn the camera off and well actually I'll just kind of speed it up and you'll see the process of me trying to organize these. So wish me luck. Okay, let me show you where I ended up. So I've got my case it binder, and this is filled with a couple sections of pins here. It's really hard to find ones that fit some of the larger pins. So um, these smaller ones are pretty easy. They go in standard ones, but I'll have to get some more of these at some point. Hopefully they'll have them at the event. Also filled this binder. Got a couple pages of these. If you saw I made some of my own little backer cards to get them in here instead of on the loose pin book, which is here. So we've got loose pins in the front and we've got two pages of loose pins 
here I did mark it. This was on a card. I marked it as a chaser just so that's aware. One of the things I'll be doing tonight after doing all of this is going through and looking up values of pins um, just so that I'm kind of prepared for trades tomorrow. So these are D23 pins. These are some character gift boxes that I, I collected the whole collection, then decided I only wanted to keep about half of them. Muppets, this is the complete set of adorbs. So that's gonna be super, super picky trade. I don't know what will make me trade for those. Um, if not, I'll, I'll maybe sell the set afterwards and then I have one extra as well. And these are all the um, D23. This was a whole D23 Muppet set. There's two that are not in here that I am kind of keeping in my back pocket. They're ones I wanted to keep. I've got them in a little pouch over here. I'm taking them with me so that in case there's a, just an offer I can't refuse. <laughs> and then um, here's some more pins that didn't fit in the binder. Some of the bigger cards, like I said, I ran out of those larger pockets. I also have this and not, I have not decided if I wanted to trade it. What I first wanted with this was the Vanellope pin. Um, I ended up getting a really good deal on buying this set and this stitch backer card. This is a Hong Kong Disneyland set. So I'm just bringing it with me. Again, I'll be super picky on a trade for this one. Then I have a bag with some of the loose items that you saw that were things like the fig pins and the booster packs. And those are all in a separate bag because I'll lay them out on the table. And I did two sets that... Ooh, tipped the camera there. Sorry about that. I did two sets that I will trade as a set. Ones I collected and then decided I didn't necessarily want. Um, as I'm packaging these, I'm rethinking a couple because I don't have much of Lewis and Ray. I kind of want to keep those. Even this one. Maybe I'll just put these in the... I don't know. We'll see when we get there. And this set. And same thing as I looked at this, I was like, well, I kind of would like to keep the Pascal, but we'll just see how it goes. And then just because I'm going to have a table and have some other items, I've got my planner and a notebook. I'll use this tonight probably to take some notes on pin values. I decided to put my backer pins in a little box that I can close. And I'm bringing some contact cards. So I recently had these made for my channel. And I will be passing those out as I meet people. Um, like I said, I'm just sort of preparing for anything. Literally, I'm bringing a fan because if the hotel is overly warm or I'm also bringing a, a sweater in case it's overly chilly. Um, this was my pouch for collecting my keepers. Um, hopefully that'll be too small. <laughs> Maybe I'll throw something else, another bag in there. And then I've just got some pens and pencil and paper just if I need to make notes or hold something for somebody make a note about a trade I can do that and then lastly I kind of put together a little package like I mentioned for the giveaway um it says a little I was having trouble getting it to stand so it'll have to lean against something but that'll be my donation for the giveaway and that's it so let's go to the event That's a wrap. So <laughs> the event has ended. Thanks for joining me back here. Um, I'm going to insert some pictures here to show you, kind of go through what I got. Um, there was a lot of great trading. I met some friends that I knew from online. 
I met some other YouTubers. I met some people who recognized me from YouTube. So it was super awesome. Um, to shout out to all those friends that stopped by the table. That's great. I There's some that I'm going to see again in um, August when we go down to Disney for the Magic Happens event. And I'm really looking forward to that. So overall, it was a really great experience. Um, you know, it's intimidating trying to figure out trade values and even and pin for pin and you know, is it the right trade? <laughs> but the point is have a lot of fun with it. You can't be overly picky. Um, you know, some people are, there can be certain pins that you say, I'm gonna be really picky with this set. So it's gotta be something great to trade. Um, and you just play it that way, but it was a lot of fun. There were a lot of kids there going around with their little pin boards, trying to trade. And, um, you know, those were mostly, some people had boards specifically for kid pin trading and others like myself, just let them go through the, you know, open edition or lounge fly type pins that we have plenty of and um, traded with those. So that was a lot of fun. Lonnie, the host did a host and coordinator ran a Plinko game, so I played that. So I'll put that picture of my winnings here. I played five games. She did like, I, I, whatever it was, it was like five for $45, but you're guaranteed at least a $10 value pin with each pull. So that was awesome. They gave away lots of um, door prizes as well as the raffle giveaways was what you saw me prepare. And then, um, let's see, what else? The, the people, that stayed at the hotel, like some of them gathered that night as well. And some of them gathered even on Sunday, the day after the event. Um, I think I'm posting this on Monday, so yesterday. And um, they were able to just chat and trade some more, which would have been fun, but we did head home. We didn't stay at the hotel. Um, I've spent all my money on pins, so I didn't want to <laughs> spend more on staying at the hotel. And it's about an hour and 15 minutes away for me. Um, to get there. I am so grateful to my sister Bernadette who went along with me. I am so silly that I got no pictures of myself or her at the event. I did take pictures of the table, you'll see, but um, yeah, next time. So I went through my pins. I'm missing one pin. I'm going to reach out to the table next to me and see if they found it because it's nowhere to be found. Um, we had a lot of bags and things could have dropped, who knows. We tried to check under the tables, but you know, that's how it goes sometimes. So pretty bummed about that, but hopefully I can recover. Anyway, let me know what you thought of the event. I'm not a true blogger. <laughs> so I realized that I am focusing more on the event than filming the event. So you get a little few clips here and there, but um, maybe we'll get better next time. Maybe not, we'll see. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Thanks for, um, let me know what you think of the experience. Um, and would you participate in one of these events if it comes near you? We definitely had a lot of newbies that were, I had one girl that she's like, I've got one pin to trade. And I'm like, well, then we're trading for your one pin because that's awesome that you came out. So she was tagging along with a friend, but a lot of people were just getting started. And then you had a lot of people that are very seasoned and tons of stuff. So, um, like I said, let me know what you thought. Uh, take a look at my pins. What was your favorite? And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.